Well, they are metal detectors designed for big crowds, screening for guns and knives, and soon they'll be coming to events all over Detroit after City Council just approved the money to buy 10 of them. Pamela Osborne is live at Hart Plaza tonight. Uh, so, Pamela, those metal detectors are going to be used for the first time at a popular event there this summer. That's right, Kimberly. The first time we'll see them in action is going to be at the fireworks. Then afterwards, anyone in the city throwing an event can request to use one for free. We spoke to quite a few people who are out today enjoying this warm weather who say this new technology is enough to make them turn out to some more events. Everywhere's like scary now, you never like know. So. Brittany Thomas says safety is one of the first things she takes into consideration before attending any event. The same goes for Edward Cheryls so, Jr. I have to admit there are some times when I probably would get out more if I felt a little safer. Their safety is top of mind for Detroit police as well. After hearing from community groups and residents like Cheryl's, Deputy Chief Franklin Hayes brought a proposal to City Council Tuesday. Uh, we hope this tool is not the police department's tool, but the community's tool. The department asked for and has received approval to purchase 10 next generation metal detectors. The technology will pick up uh, on metal signatures of firearms and large knives. You don't have to empty anything out of your pockets. You just walk right through. Each city district will have its own and three extras will be available for big events like the fireworks. The unveiling or when we put these in place will be at the upcoming fireworks. Uh, we will have the units in both Hart Plaza as well as Spirit Plaza. DPD plans to have all 10 out that night. Well, I think it's a really great idea. Um, it'll keep a lot of people safe. It's exactly what Deputy Chief Hayes had in mind, providing people with the assurances they need to feel safe in an area that will be safer. There aren't anyone carrying any illegal firearms or weapons here. I can enjoy myself and not worry about being a victim or an innocent bystander. Or and so all of this is going to cost a little more than 1.3 million. But one of the things discussed as council went over this proposal was that you can't put a dollar amount of value on human life. If you want to know how you can get one of these devices, you have to reach out to the Department of Neighborhoods. They can help get you in touch with police who will come out and not only set up the device for you, but go over a safety plan to make sure your event is as safe as possible. Reporting live at Hart Plaza, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Hey, Pam, thank you.